Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Vaughn of airsoftmedicine.com. We're taping at the emergency department because that is exactly where you could end up if you don't wear proper safety equipment when playing airsoft. On this installment of Dr. Airsoft, we're going to be doing practical testing of airsoft masks and goggles. Airsoft Extreme has generously allowed us to access their test fire tunnel to fire BBs at eye and face protection products. The goggles that we're testing are the Classic Army Advanced Combat Goggle, the Garter TX-800, and the ESS Profile. The face masks include the JT Radar, Intruder, Carnivore, and the Flex-8. Injury prevention is the goal of Dr. Airsoft, so these products will be exposed to the worst accident scenarios imaginable. A direct hit from a sniper rifle at point-blank range. Since there are some fields which allow sniper rifles to fire over 500 FPS, we will use a gun which is clocked at 520 FPS with .20 gram BBs on the chronometer. Then to see if we can really make it a hard test, we're going to go ahead and shoot with .43 gram BBs when we actually do the firing. Let's see how this goes. Here we are at Airsoft Extreme with the rifle for the sniper test. It is the KWA M16 battle rifle and it's been modified to fire at 520 FPS using a .20 gram BB. Now we're going to chrono with the 0.43 gram BB. Here's the selection of goggles we'll be working with. First we have the ESS Profile. ESS stands for Eye Safety Systems. It's called the Profile and you'll notice that in contrast to the other goggles, the nose is covered by this cortex clip that actually clips on to the outside of the goggle to protect the nose and the bridge of the nose where a BB could conceivably get through and then be diverted and actually hit the eye even though you're wearing full sealed goggles. The ESS profile can also have a fan put in for an additional cost to help keep it from fogging up even though I understand that these aren't bad about fogging up as it is. This goes for about $80 at Airsoft Extreme. The next goggle is the Advanced Combat Goggle by Classic Army and it goes for about $18. And then we have the TX-800 by Garter. It goes for about $25 at Airsoft Extreme. These are the ESS Profile Series with the, uh, the special nose guard there to keep any BBs from going between the nose and the, uh, the seal around the eye. They stood the test. I'm looking for any of this damage. I can't see anything. And now what we have is the classic Army Advanced Combat Goggle. And as you can see, it stood up to the test very well. Here you can see the extent of the damage to the goggle. It's just a little mark right on the surface of the front of the lens. Here's the Garter TX-800. We have the little green marks over the uh, lens there because this one has been damaged in previous testing. And the Garter X-800 holds up. As far as the JT mask, over here on this side, the low end, we start with the JT Elite lens system, which is on the radar mask. That will cost you about $25 Airsoft Extreme. Next, we have the Invader. This also has the Elite lens system a little bit different mass system and it costs $31.95 at Airsoft Extreme. Moving up a little bit in quality, we have the Spectra lens on the carnivore mask. The Spectra lens has a 270 degree field of view. And then going all the way up to the Flex 8 system, you also have the Spectra lens and you have a full head protection. You even have a little occiput guard for the back of the head. This is the JT radar with the elite lens. What we want to do is not only shoot at the lens, but also at the area that would be guarding your face to protect your mouth and teeth. Yeah, it looks like it held up. We're going to get a little closer inspection of it though. A closer inspection, the radar mask had an area where a BB did deform the mask and it went through. We'll even demonstrate that here. That, that BB can be pushed through that same spot where the BB went through and then the uh, head behind it and then this is the hole in the styrofoam head where the BB went through the mask. This is the invader with the elite lens. 
On the JT Invader, you can see that right in the center of the mask, there is some deformation. And we do think that a BB was able to get through. We circled the old site of damage and we do see a new BB got through. This is a Spectra QLS or Quick Lock System lens inside of a carnivore mask. We were going to expect that this mask would do better because it has much smaller holes in it. Here's the results of the carnivore mask. You can see that track that goes between the two uh, Sharpie circles on it. That track was made by a BB going through the carnivore mask. So here's the JT Flexate with the Spectra lens. Now let's see if uh, the paper between the mask and the head had any evidence of getting damaged. Two separate holes through the Flex 8 mask. As you can see, all the goggles tested were found to be able to take the worst imaginable hit on a standard airsoft field. The mask did not fare as well. The BBs went right through the mask and penetrated into the styrofoam head. This was an extreme test, and I want to retest the JT mask using a 0.20 gram BB at just 400 feet per second, the standard limit for an AEG at most fields. Here's the gun we're going to use for our typical AEG encounter. It's a classic Army M15A4 Tech Carbine 2009 model. And out of the box, this thing shoots at 420 feet per second when you chrono it with a .20 gram BB. It's going to do some damage too. This gun can be purchased at Airsoft Extreme. This is the radar with the uh, 400 feet per second. This is the invader. Yeah, okay, let's look under. Oh, look at that. Hey, look at that. My group is better than Chris's. And, oh, actually, it wasn't just denting, but it looks like it actually went through and to start from this time. Okay. This is the carnivore. Again, we are shooting 0 0.20 gram at 400 feet per second. Under. Looks like one got through, and then looks like. Looks like it's actually stuck to the tape. Yeah. So one went through, hit the tape, and I just stuck there, didn't go through the tape. Let's see if it slowed it down any. Um. And here's the BB that went through. There, and it was held between styrofoam and that. No real, I mean, a little bit of denting. And now for the Flex 8. So you can see I hit him. Um, let's see what I mean. So right there, we got one that went through right there. And it looks like it was just hitting and just kind of denting the foil as for the head itself. It's difficult to say if we actually hit it and went through just because it was in that same area. Thank you for joining us on this installment of Dr. Airsoft Practical Testing, Goggles and Masks. I'm comfortable using all of the goggles and masks tested for eye protection, but I'm disappointed in the performance of the face masks. None of them could reliably protect against dental or lower face injury in the event of a point-blank hit, even at normal AEG limits. I would be more comfortable with the higher-end JT masks like the Carnivore and the Flex 8, but we really need something which works better. I challenge manufacturers of face protection to send their products to airsoftmedicine.com so that we can find something which can be worn with tested goggles to protect the lower face. Check for updates at airsoftmedicine.com. Until next time, this is Dr. Airsoft saying, play safely.